ushering in the new world order, that they would put Bill Clinton in as a Democrat to make people think there was some kind of change going on in this country. When in fact there was no change at all, their agendas are exactly the same. And they were discussing this and, how, and laughing at how they were going to pull the wool over the eyes of the American people. I was appalled to see Bill Clinton go into the office of president. And I know that Bill Clinton is following orders, as always, from George Bush and carrying out the, his orders of the Rose. It was also at the Slampy, Missouri compound that I was sexually assaulted by Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton both are considered to be bisexual, but it was my experience, although my experience with Bill Clinton sexually was extremely limited, I've witnessed him involved in homosexual activity on several occasions, one being with my mind control handler, Alex Houston. Hillary Clinton was interested in the fact that I had been vaginally carved and mutilated. This was of interest to her. She thought it was absolutely fascinating. It was something that Senator Byrd had had done in the early 80s to fulfill certain perversions and also to be used in pornography, particularly pornography by the White House chief pornographer or by Reagan's chief pornographer, Larry Flint, who has Hustler magazine. You'll notice that Larry Flint uses CIA mind-controlled slaves in, his, in the pages of his filth magazines. And these girls are all electrically prodded. And it's very obvious to those with eyes to see exactly the tortures that these girls have endured and the fact that they are not in control of their own thoughts, their own mind, their own lives, and their own actions. But Hillary thought it was real interesting, so not only that, but I also heard her say at that time that I was considered to be clean, free of any social diseases because I was a presidential model. I carried out specific criminal covert operations throughout the Caribbean, including Haiti, which had been infested with the AIDS virus. And I would go directly from Haiti right back to the White House, and there was absolutely no protection used. They all knew that there was no risk. For whatever reason, certainly raises questions, nevertheless. It was Hillary that sexually assaulted me in Lampy, Missouri. There are many different operations that I was forced to carry out as a CIA mind control slave. These operations are detailed in our book, Transformation of America. Transformation of America is substantiated with sufficient documentation, witnesses, and testimony that we are certainly ready for any congressional hearings into the matter because We've been stopped from any justice so far for reasons of national security. We want to overcome that. Hopefully, this book is going to incite someone to take action against exactly what's going on. And if for no other purpose, it will open the eyes of the American public to exactly who and what is running our country and for what purposes. And it makes a whole lot of what we're seeing going on in our society suddenly make sense. What have you heard about Bohemian Grove in reversals? Well, in, you know, not too much in reverse. The owl is the main metaphor for this group in reverse. It's called, called, it, it, it's called the owl. And I know that they do these sacrifices in front of this 45 foot uh, either stone or plaster owl. So I'm sure that, you know, this all ties in. But I haven't actually reversed somebody speaking specifically about Bohemian Grove. I okay. like owls. I even like snakes. Right. I like, you know, I like all animals and wolves, but they use these metaphors, rats, wolves, vipers, snakes, uh, and the owl, and ets. They call themselves ets a lot, as in ETs, but it's just said ets.